had a roller coaster relationship for 10 years before finally marrying three years ago. And although India and Timothy have worked hard to keep their union together, their marriage is splitting at the seams. I, I feel like India is over insecure. Yana, he's out so cheap, cheap, real cheap. You know, she made me feel smaller than I am. You know, I'm a, I'm a short man. You know, I don't, I don't want you to make me feel like I'm, like I'm this small, like I'm a kid. With a once spicy marriage now in the dumps. In the beginning, we watched porn together. We did all type. We went to the strip clubs and everything. India and Timothy say the flavor is gone for good. I mean, he expects me to do everything like I'm a robot or something. Today on Divorce Court. Come to order. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with India Edwards and Timothy Higgs. The two of you have been married for three years, and you have two children together. You do not want to be together anymore. You have some financial matters you would like me to resolve, but before we get there, I'm going to start with you, Ms. Edwards. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your marriage and why we're here in divorce court today? Okay, Your Honor. Timothy is supposed to be my husband, right? Mm -hmm. But he acts like he's my dad. Instead of coming to me like an adult, he comes to me like I'm his child or something, and I'm going to get in trouble or something. I'm tired of all the arguing, and I'm just, I'm tired of it. I mean, he expects me to do everything like I'm a robot or something. I get up, That's get the kids cool. ready for school. I'm going to get to you. Get up, get the kids ready for school, go to work, come home, help them with their homework, cook, clean, get them ready, um, get them ready for bed, and do all that. And I don't have any help at all from him. And... I'm just, I'm tired of this. He comes and fussing me about why things ain't done. I get, I get tired sometimes, too. I mean, I need some help around the house. Okay. Mr. Well, Higgs, what is your response to that? Well, first of all, trash belongs to trash bags, not my clothes. Wait, wait, ooh, you're going to have to say that all over again. I didn't understand a word of it. I said, first of all, trash belongs in trash bags, not my clothes. Now, I brought you some pictures to show you some of the stuff that I got to go through in the morning. When oh. I get up to find my clothes, I work 13 hours a day, Judge. <laughs> When I get up in the morning and I try to find my work clothes, I got to dig through piles of clothes just to try to find them. It's times where I got to make a decision to, wear, to, to go wash my underwear or either go to work commando. Okay, look, he didn't I'm tired of going to work with no he underwear He didn't wear underwear in the first place when I first met him. And he went, no, you know, no, that's not true. All of a sudden, you want to no, go to that no, no, underwear. No, no, no. Come on she, now. She, told me, she told me that she's allergic to underwear. Now, I don't have okay, nothing to underwear. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. He, she told you yes, she, she was told allergic to underwear? She, yes, she said the doctor told her that she is allergic that to don't underwear. Mean you Stop it. But I want to wear underwear. I don't like going to work. That is I don't crazy. like going to work okay, naked. Whatever. I feel naked when I'm at work. You I'm could be that. responsible for your own underwear. I, no, I, I, you right. You right. <laughs> That's I ain't got no problem with it. Look, look. No, I grew up in, I grew, I'm, I'm, I'm used to like seeing my mom take care of my dad. I watched my step, I watched my stepmom. Take care of my dad as well, you know what I mean? That wasn't working out. No, no, so I thought by getting married, I was going to reap them benefits too. But instead, though, I don't have a woman that cooks for me and stuff. I got to come home. I smell chicken when I come in the house, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm looking in the store where the food at. She laying over there full of sleep. Ain't no food okay. in the store. Well, I got to eat a bologna sandwich now, or, or some cereal or something. She assumed because I'm a chef that I not already ate. You can't do me like that. I, I thought I thought by getting married, though, that I was going to have a woman that's going to cook for me, that was going to clean. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Higgs, let, me ask, you, like let me ask you this. Did you realize that your mother and your stepmother didn't have, didn't work outside the home, hence all their work was inside the home? Did you figure that part out? But she's out? off four days a week. Well, you can handle your own underwear, can't you? Yeah, I do. When I, got really the chance, when, I, when I got time, I do. You know, when I got time, I will. I, I will wash my own clothes. I even wash her sometimes, though. But it's okay, like it's look. like I'm living out a trash bag, though, Your Honor. Look, it's like Yana, this, this ended this He hunt. wants to show me this yeah. picture. This, this what are you idea. showing me here? Well, first of all, this is another issue. That's my closet. And th those are a relative of clothes in my closet, you know. <laughs> Whose clothes? Relatives. These clothes are a relative's clothes? Yeah, those are her relative clothes that, that, that she's allowed to stay with us and I don't approve of. Who, what's in this bag it. here? What's in this bag? His clothes, his dirty clothes. He got my clothes stanky in the closet. That's her idea of cleaning up, throwing stuff that in the closet. Okay, that's I his basically live at a trash that bag. That is his closet. Do you have an extra person in the household who he doesn't like living there? My family member, he comes over there probably from time to He's been there a year. Mr. Uh, Higgs? Every blue, every blue moon, he'll pop up. He'll pop up every blue moon, like, probably two or three times out of a week, and he'll spend a night. But I told him that he could not live there. You say he comes over two or three times a week, but has he been coming over two or three times a week for a year? Yes, but he's not living with us, and I let that be known that he could not stay with us, and it do not happen every week. 
I mean, like once out of probably every other month, he'll pull this move where he he'll come in and say he, he wait on a rat to come pick him up, and the rat never show up, and he end up sleeping on the floor in the, in the back room. When divorce court continues, Judge Lynn learns something new every day. His friend gonna bust out and say, Tim, where's the bucket naked at? He know all that. That's the what? That bucket naked. That's what he called a naked move. That's what he calls what? A, a naked move. A porno. A naked move? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 who claims his wife India is too insecure. But has Timothy been a leading factor in making India feel less than beautiful? My thing about this is I don't feel like India would have a problem with it if she felt like she was physically fit like those women. Now, I can check this out. No, listen, listen. Well, what is your main complaint about her other than the fact that you don't believe that she's quite the housewife she should I, be? I feel like India is over insecure. She is too insecure. She's so, look, hold on, check, let me give you an example of how, what I mean. You know, just like I know Halle Berry look good, right? Right. We could be sitting there watching TV, and then I'd be like, I ain't Halle Berry look good in that cat suit. You know, she kept one. Right. You know, and then and she cut the TV off. Now, how, how we come, come from, now, how we come from, in, the, in the beginning, we watched porn together. We did all type. We went to the strip clubs and everything. Ms. Edwards, what do you have to say about no, that? Okay. Do you turn off Halle Berry? Uh, no, that's not true. <laughs> I am not that insecure. That's a lie. But anyway, um, we had a party over our house one day. Okay, everybody was just sitting around. We were just chilling. His friend gonna bust out and say, Tim, where's the bucket naked at? He know all the loud. Where's the what at? Bucket naked. That's what he called a naked movie. Okay, that's what he calls what? A, a naked porno. movie. A porno. A naked movie? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he, he knows. What was it is. I had no idea what was going Now, he on. know I don't allow porno in the house or whatever. So he goes on, he crawls on top of the counter and looks above that's the refrigerator. Uh, on the top of the counter and pulls down a, a, neck, a neck and move and put it in a, a DVD player. And she broke it. Okay, I turned around. I looked. I, mean, I know he didn't. And so I went to, the, uh, went to the DVD player and took it out. Yeah, and I broke it. I'm 30 years old. Okay, Why whatever. Watch porn? You know I don't like porno. I look at the screen. I see a TV big old booty on the screen. I, look, maybe that was eight years ago. But we are, look. we. Hey, we well, let me ask you this, Miss Edwards. Did you, did you acknowledge that there was a change in the rules? I mean, if you used to watch porno together, how does he know that it's no longer because appropriate because if you did, didn't talk about it? We did talk about it. We, we've been talking about did it. Did you ban it? No, did she you say no she more? She didn't She just he tore him up. Dude, he that's her way of talking. No, he threw she all, all his porno and he had a porn. <laughs> My thing about this is I don't feel like Andy would have a problem with that if she felt like she was physically fit like those women. Now, I, look, check this out. No, listen, listen. I, I, love, I love how she look, okay? I told her okay. this. I try to make her feel good. Before I, I look, I, hold on, let me tell her. I, I feel like my wife is beautiful. Right. I feel like, I'm, I'm gonna give you an example of reason why I know that she's insecure by herself. When she gets out the shower, she'll hide her bullet wound. She got shot. She got shot a couple years ago, three right. times. And uh, look, so, she had, so she hides her bullet wounds. Now, I don't feel like I should be to blame for you being insecure about yourself. I tell you that you're beautiful. I don't mind her scars. Her scars are a symbol uh, of, of, of her being a miracle. A you survivor. Know I mean? She made right. it. She's still with me. Right. Are you, are, you, are you a little worried about the change in your physique? No, it, it's the way he made me feel. Maybe if he told me that I look good and he what showed me, stop, Mr. Higgs, Mr. Higgs, Mr. Higgs. Maybe if he acted like showed me the attention that I that I need, I wouldn't feel so insecure. Okay, yeah, he likes to watch porno and he he uh, he he's very openly about how he feel about how other women look. So why shouldn't I feel insecure? Now, honey, he's also cheap. Cheap, real cheap. He don't, he, uh, 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 yes, he is, he's cheap. Okay, it's, it's in the middle of the winter time. We supposed to be going out with the kids or whatever. He's, I'm at work. He's out looking for me an outfit because I ain't have anything to wear. How about he come back with some skin tights and spaghetti strap shirt? That's the outfit right there? Yeah. That's good for in 20 minutes. You look matter. like you're enjoying that outfit. Well, <laughs> you look like you like how it looks. <laughs> but see <laughs> Good. Cause don't nobody got 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 that arm but down there. But not in the winter though. I'm gonna freeze. You got got the got the booty thing I going on. Got the booty thing. <laughs>
You were enjoying that outfit. But in the middle of the winter, no. I, yeah, I had to enjoy it. I didn't have a choice but to wear it, because, shoot, I ain't have nothing else to wear. When the voice court continues, Judge Lynn gives India her props. Mrs. Edwards, let me tell you something. You were bad sisters. Ain't no way in the world I can get my husband to do anything with my hair. He's not picking up my hot comb. He's not picking up any glue. She drink all the time. You know, it, 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 I'm just tired of it. Okay, look, hold on. Let me talk about that. Let me talk about that. Okay, look. He hasn't had the yard treated yet. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Mr. Higgs, I'm going to ask you, what am I looking at here? She was in, she was in there. So po the house was a wreck. The kids running around. The Xbox was up the sky. I had a TV so loud. I came in. They didn't even hear me. I crept on in, took a picture of her, laying there with her PJs on. That's how she be all the time. Okay, now, look. Look, I have... Let, let, let Miss Edwards respond. What do you have to say okay, look, in response to that? The reason why that? I'm dressed like that, because um, we have a flea problem outside. We got dogs. We got okay. dogs. Okay, when they didn't get in the house, and so when you come in, they jumping on you like you a piece of meat or something. So, yeah, I cover myself from it's head not to toe. Cover myself from head to toe to keep the fleas from getting to, you know, where you don't want them to go. She got a bug problem. It's you know, some people are, are real dramatic when it comes out of stuff. She but see one flea, no flea and she go crazy. Them, like you they know, dogs you know, blood and stuff. I'm telling you, don't know look, no we were driving down the street one day. No. A fly, a fly flew in the car. She almost made me have a wreck. He still don't support my dreams like I said. No, reason. Like well, let me ask you this, Miss Edwards. Are you really seriously pursuing your dream? Or are you just saying, this is what I would like to do? No. And you're not doing it, and he's the most convenient the only excuse. reason why I stopped. Hang on. The only reason why I stopped is because I got pregnant and oh, I had stop. kids. Stop. So it kind of slowed me down. I done gained a lot of, a little more weight than I used to. So, I mean, yeah, quite naturally, I'm a mom now. So what do you want him to do to help facilitate I your mean, career? Just, just encourage me. Just encourage me. Tell me, baby, you still got it. You can do it. When the voice court continues, Timothy's blunt explanation for his indiscretion. M Mr. Higgs, how does something like that happen? I was drunk and I was I was over the wrong person's house and she was there. Do you think this relationship was doomed from the start? Call one 800 
281-292-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. Call 1-800-282-1991 now. Divorce Court returns with the case of India Edwards and Timothy Hayes, who after three years of marriage say the thrill is gone from their relationship and they both want out. admitted to cheating on you. Yeah. There was an accident. Mr. Higgs, I will get to you. Ms. Edwards, please explain that to me. Okay, yes. He, he admitted to cheating on me one time. He said that he received oral sex from me, from a girl. He said he didn't do anything or, or nothing else happened. That's the only thing that happened. Yeah. But he don't remember her name. I don't. He don't. I mean, how you going to get somebody to do I don't even remember what she looked like. Okay, Mr. Higgs, how does something like that happen? I was drunk and I was I was over the wrong person's house and she was there. <laughs> but, and I'm sure but, I'm sure I took that insecure. I admitted to it though. They showed it I was sorry. Okay, all right, all right, I, 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 I got it. I got it. I got it. Why, after all this drama, what was the final straw that made you say you don't wanna wanna be together anymore? Yelling in front of people, it don't matter where we at or whatever. If he have if he gets mad or whatever, he'll he'll go out. And then in front of the kids, too. Mr. Higgs, are you, when you speak to your wife, when you're angry, are you verbally abusive? All right, maybe I am sometimes, but I'm working on it. And, but I need help. She do the same thing. You know, she fucks with me just the same way. You know, she made me feel small as what I am. You know, I'm a, I'm a short well, man. You know, short I, don't, man I don't want you to make me feel that's like, I'm, like I'm this you small, like I'm good. Out. You know what I mean? <laughs> it ain't my fault you got this short man syndrome, OK? So, Ms. Edwards, you're, you're seeking $2,850, which you say is half the car note uh, and half of the rent for the next six months. Yes. Uh, tell me why you believe you're entitled to that amount. Because for most of the time, all the time we've been living together, I've been paying most of the rent. Even though he got two jobs or whatever, he just got that second job probably, probably about four or five months ago. So I feel like, yeah, that's why I feel like we leave, we get... He owes me everything. He owes me that car note because he drives my car more than more, most of the time. But he do everything he needs to do. Hang if, on. If, if she if she didn't take me to work and I, if I didn't drive her car, then I had to get a ride by a coworker, which more than likely would be a female that she don't like. And you ain't been having a problem with. You been doing it. But okay, she always okay. have a problem with it. I, I got I got I got it. I, I got it. First of all, I believe you two are gonna leave here and fuss all the way home, get in the house and stay together. And you're gonna continue to fuss. I really believe that. I don't. I don't believe you're going anywhere. Here, here's the thing that people don't seem to understand about transitional support. Transitional support is for a spouse who has not worked, stayed at home, and contributed to the household with effort as opposed to economies, and needs money to get started from the person who's making money. You came in here seeking transitional support. And your support for that that request was you've been paying most of the bills. Yeah. So that means you don't need transitional support. He might, I do. but you don't. I do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> if I were the two of you, I would go home. I would take that weave money. <laughs> I'd take your sweater money, all that, you know, when the, the liquor money, all of that. And, and and put it into to fumigation <laughs> and counseling so you can learn how to have a conversation without making your children crazy. But I, it's only a recommendation. I can't demand it. In the meantime, in between time, there will be no recovery. It is so ordered. <laughs> All right. Parties, we leave the courtroom. India reports that since the show, TV is working on his temper and spending more time playing and helping with the kids. For her part, India has stopped staying out all night and overspending. 